Keeping your sword close at hand is a must for most adventurers, and at Medieval Collectibles we've got plenty of ways to do just that. My name's Mackenzie, and today we'll be going over some of the sword frogs, belts, and baldrics we have to offer, and how they're used. First, let's start with sword frogs. If you're not super familiar with sword frogs, you might be asking yourself why they're called that. While a frog is what we call an amphibian in a pond, it's also the word used to describe a loop that holds something together or in place. So in this case, a frog is what holds the sword to the belt. Sword frogs are also sometimes called sword hangers. However you call it, there are two basic aspects to most sword frogs. One, they slide onto your belt, and two, they hold your sword. The majority of our sword frogs can work for both LARP and steel weapons. If you're carrying a steel weapon, it's recommended to keep the sheath on it as well. Many of our most popular options hold your sword at a diagonal. This makes it so the sword's hilt is at a great angle for withdrawing it from the frog. Typically, you'll want to draw your sword with your dominant hand. That means that the sword frog needs to sit on the opposite side. So for example, if you're right-handed, a diagonal sword frog will sit on your left hip. For a lot of these, you can choose between our right or left hand draw options. For example, the black sword frog by House of Warfare comes in both right or left hand options. It has an adjustable buckled strap at the top for easily securing it onto your belt. Then, the cuff for the sword has two more buckled straps. We also offer sword frogs that use lacing to adjust the width and secure your sword in place, like the universal sword frog. Because this frog is held together with metal rings, it has some nice articulation and moves with you. Sword frogs that are straight up and down, like the universal leather frog by Dragonforge Leather, are a super versatile choice. These are largely ambidextrous, so they can sit on either side of the belt. This frog can also be used for drinking horns, replica pistols, and more. Sword length will also factor somewhat into how you carry your sword. So a longer sword might be better suited to a diagonal position, while straight up and down sword frogs may work for shorter swords. Next up, a natural evolution from sword frogs are sword belts. This is kind of a two birds, one stone solution. These are basically belts that incorporate a sword holder in some way. Some are double wrap belts, with the belt buckle on the first layer and the sword holder on the second, like the medieval double wrap belt. Another way to carry your sword is with a baldric. You can kind of think of these like messenger bags, but instead of a bag at your side, it's a sword. Our medieval leather baldric is a popular choice. Its long, adjustable strap goes over your shoulder and sits crossbody, so your sword will sit on the opposite hip. Just like the diagonal sword frogs, if you're right-handed, the sword holding portion will sit on your left hip so that you can draw it with your dominant hand. These are great for when you don't want a belt as part of your outfit or your belt is already packed full with other gear. Now we'll get into less conventional ways to carry your sword. Carrying your sword on your back has a very epic look to it, and we've got ways to do just that. The Doran Sword Back Harness Bundle includes two sheaths and a back harness. Two leather sheaths attach to the harness, which is worn a lot like a backpack, with the straps go around the shoulders and under the arm. Our Skyhook Back Harness by Epic Armory stands out with its open style. At the top, it's another harness worn similar to a backpack, but with sturdy wooden hooks at the top that hold the sword by its guard. It's attached to a stiff board of leather that's long enough for most swords. It crosses the back diagonally. Then at the bottom, there's a cuff with laces for securing the tip of your sword. A buckled strap on the back can be looped around a belt, sold separately, to keep all pieces in place. With so many styles to choose from, you can be sure to draw your sword in style with sword frogs, belts, and baldrics we have to offer at Medieval Collectibles. We've got something for every kind of adventurer. Links for all the items shown here are in the description below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the Medieval Collectibles channel. And leave a comment letting us know what you want to see next. As always, thanks for watching.